Okay. Hi, number one. Do not ask me about the episode. I'm working on it. Um, okay, to start off, yes, I did get consent to name Lilani in the situation and talk about the situation nonetheless. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't call this an exposed video considering the comments she made were public, but I feel like this needs to be said finally. So, um, yeah, I'm only going to refer to this person as Sheer, Sha, I, I'm sorry, I'd, or Omega, I don't know how to actually, like, pronounce her name, but, anyway, th this rant is more or less about what's been going on for months, and I think it's finally time I talked about it. Do not harass anybody involved with this situation, like, please. Okay, we're gonna get into it, because there's not really an opening for this. So, six months ago, during, um, episode 2, season 4 of Lilani's Shatter Me series, I read the comments and there was one comment by Omega asking to be in her series. Now, I don't have anything against asking someone to be in said series, considering that I have also- I'm currently doing that now as myself, but this was, like, the first- like, the, basically speaking, this was- the start of what was going to be a very manipulative relationship. So, this was the first comment I found asking to be in the series, and Lilani did say yes, of course, seeing the replies. So, I'm gonna just show some of the other comments made. I think anyone who has read these comments have noticed a similarity in them, stating that Omega feels as if she's weak, and I, I want to point this out right now, she does not mean this in like a real life way as far as I know. She's talking about her character in this series because she thinks she's not having a big enough part in it, basically. She also wanted to be the main character for some reason, which doesn't make sense given the timing, but... Like two after- like two episodes after she- uh, Lilani agreed to add her in her series, as much as she did give compliments, um, she was very, I like to say, persistent on her first battle in the series, and I, I want to point out, I, I don't think that was ever really agreed upon. She just pointed out, I, I want my first battle, and then, y you know, that happened. So, so, Lilani announced she would go on break, and I think it's clear from Omega's reply that- I, I This is when I started to realize that this relationship was becoming more of a guilt-tripping one. This is so- yeah, this went on for forever, honestly. It's basically still going on now. I mean, currently, while I'm editing this video, her channel has been blocked, but it, ha it had been going on beforehand. So, the replies she left on the series, basically, were kind of forceful with the idea that she wanted to be more of a character in the series, which already is kind of, like, rude to say, considering that she- Lilani already given- has given her a lot just for putting her in the series. Now, keep in mind, she did not know Omega at all during the time she wrote that comment. They just became friends- <laughs> friends is a strong word, by the way- um, friends during that time because she wanted to be a part of the series. Like, at the time, it didn't bother me too much, as much as the replies she made kind of made me, like, com uncomfortable in a way. It, it didn't really bother me too much because I thought that was kind of like her way of s kind of scripting her series, which, at my own- opinion, I don't think she should have been doing that, but it wasn't until Lilani's event where I, I think I started picking up uh, on her character as a whole, not just in the series. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about what the videos were about, and I'm not going to show them simply because it's my friend's personal information, but it was her reply. Her reply which stuck to me so much. It was infuriating. I- I cannot make this up. She was so, so intimate on making my friend's series about herself that she would make- she would dedicate an entire event towards herself, acting as if she was some victim. She tried to make my friend's event about herself just because. Just because she wanted an entire series dedicated to her, which she wasn't even helping to create. It's infuriating to me. How she thinks she can just talk to my friend this way, and, and how she can be so forceful. Oh, and I want to point something else out too now that we're on this kind of topic. This is not the first time she did this. Yep, you heard it here, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binaries. She did this more than once. 
again, not showing the video, but I will show the reply. Okay, let, let's unpack this next one. Um, she, like, I kind of, she, like, she did not give you permission. You didn't even ask her if you could vent yourself. You just blatantly vented. What? Are you serious? Like, it's okay to vent, but do not make someone else's vent about yourself as if your life problems are, are bigger or worse than hers, meaning you get hand, handed, like, everything. It, it's... It blows my mind, her logic right now. It, it, this is blowing my mind. Also, sorry if my voice is like shaky or I'm stuttering a lot. I did not script any of this. Okay, uh, let, let's move on. I want to point out that Lilani, as much as she was a bigger victim in this, uh, she was not the only one uh, that Omega reached out to, actually. In fact, um, she, she reached out to me for making content for her. I, I'm being serious right now. So, we're all aware, for three months, I was working, like, busy working on LMA the movie, which is out, by the way. But, it was during the time I dropped the trailer. Keep in mind you, I was still working during the time that she talked to me about this. She asked if she could be, like, a guardian or something. Basically, she was asking me to make content for her. <laughs> yes, while I was working on, like, what is basically a two-hour movie. I, I cannot make this up. I get that she hasn't really done a series as far as I know, but she asked me during the time I was working on the movie. Uh, Heidi pointed out that we were busy as it was. Not to mention, we didn't really know her at all. The only way I knew her was from uh, her comments on Lilani's series, which I wasn't already a big fan of her anyways, given like how forceful she was in my friend. <laughs> but... Thankfully, I didn't really do any content for her, as far as I remember anyway. I, I never really complied to that. But, um, yeah. So, I said no to her, th that I just couldn't do that right now. My mental health wasn't great, and I was already working as it was. I, I feel like she not only ignored that, but didn't really care at all. And when Heidi pointed out that we didn't want to work with her that bad, simply because how she was treating Lilani... <laughs> then she just fucking sassed uh, uh, Heidi for no reason, which is odd considering, technically speaking, she would be working with her if we said yes. Oh, I gotta say, the timing of this comment was actually pretty hilarious, because during the time she wrote this comment, it was also during the time Lilani first said no to her. Uh, yeah, I'm being serious. During the time that she wrote that comment was during the time Lulani said no. So in other words, <laughs> I, I can't make this up, she realized she couldn't get content out of Lulani for once, so she went to the creator similar to her, who was also close friends with her. I'm being serious. I'm being actually serious. It it's honestly funny, and I didn't notice this until I made this video, wh which honestly just enrages me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna base the next content I see off of like two months after that it happened. Well, not two months after it happened, but after it happened. <laughs> I, I think we all know what I'm saying here. But yeah, I'm gonna show some of her other comments that she made. Some of these are actually current comments until she got banned. Well, blocked, you know what I mean. Now, now, you think when you say no to somebody that you can't do this for them due to your, you know, actual mental state, which is just off the charts, that they would stop. Yeah, no, that, that would have been nice, but no, we can't have that here. I mean, if that happened, I don't even think I'd be making this rant right now, but I, I have to, because this has also recently happened. So, you know that vent comment, the one I pointed out earlier? The second one was up from over 10 days ago. I, I don't know who she thinks she is to the point where she can, like, basically just make an entire vent. It, like, something, a series that takes months to create due to motivation and, and mental health and, and ev like everything. I, I have no idea how she thinks she can make all of that uh, about herself when in reality she wasn't even and i gotta point this out she wasn't even originally scripted in lilani's series she uh, lilani added her out of the kindness of her heart and omega just simply took that for granted thankfully i think we can all say by this time we were all tired of omega's shit 
So we really, anytime she commented, it was about, oh, uh, uh, I want to have a series dedicated to myself, uh, blah, 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 I, I want to defeat the main villain for your finale, blah, 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 stuff like that, basically. Anytime she commented, it was that. Like, anytime she just stopped and actually made a compliment, I'm pretty sure that was only just to, like, warm up to Stranger into getting what she wanted. It's truly selfish. I can't make this up. Now, I I'm hoping that, because, now, like I said at the beginning, somewhere around the beginning, um, Omega was blocked from Stranger's channel due to the stuff she was doing. I'm really hoping that she doesn't try going to me to make content for her, because God knows we're not doing it. If you are watching this, Omega, we're not making content for you. But, I I'm really hoping that, as much as I'm sad that it happened, uh, I'm really hoping Lalani was the only victim to Omega's manipulation. Because I, I'm- I can't imagine if Stranger was not the first and there's actually a bunch of people that she has done this to, like manipulated them. So yeah, that's basically the reason I made this rant. Um, I, I just wanted to say to any series creator, if you get a comment from her. Now, I, ask, I have a feeling she's going to comment on someone else's series or a different creator. Reach out to somebody to get the, her a part of their series or something. Um, I, I really suggest you don't if you are a series creator because it can definitely lead to manipulation. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for coming to whatever kind of TED Talks this is. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get back to working now. Um, like I said at the beginning, do not harass anybody involved, especially if you do find this person's channel. Because this is only meant to, like, spread awareness, basically. So, yeah, I'm gonna get back to working now. See you guys in the next one.